that's your box. Kind of looks like a stamp on a cardboard box, but sufficient enough to get them to me. So I'm good with that. Uh, so these are full size, not some little ones. They do have a, a plastic case. Uh, it seems well machined, you know, well made. Uh, not machined, but you know, molded. Uh, the whole highlight of these is the metal gears. So I uh, got it plugged into a servo tester. Uh, so. Usually my one of my things to do to test, you know, a servo is to kind of like add some resistance and see how strong it is. And, you know, that, that kind of gives you a little idea of what you're dealing with. Because some of the, the really cheaper kit servos, when you put a little resistance on it, it just stops. You know, you can't do anything. So it, it'll just stop dead in its track. So I'm going to hold it firmly with my hand and uh, put some pressure right here. Yeah, I can't. I couldn't hold it. Yeah, it's not possible for me to hold it. So I can put tension on it, but I can't stop it. So, pretty good. Without any tools or anything, of course. Uh, this should work great for steering. Uh, really, I'm thinking a rudder, you know, in a boat, because a lot of times... You get a boat going pretty fast, and you, you turn, hit that rudder hard, those same plastic gear servos that usually don't have enough beef to them, um, you know, they, they give out, and then your boat ends up kind of turning eventually, but not like when you want it to. So, yeah, that's all I gotta really say about it, you know. Um, it definitely work great for a steering servo. I wouldn't go as far as putting it on like a heavy tire monster truck, but these are definitely... Uh, beefy enough to do most stuff. Pretty good servo.